Hold up. So we are deep in Proverbs this week. We are on chapter four and Solomon is really, he's, he's really pumped to um, share this with us. And he uses a lot of words that inform us that this chapter is very important. Let's see, he uses pay attention, don't turn away, follow my commands, don't forget, don't turn your back, pay attention. Yeah, he uses a lot of words like that. And if my friend came up to me and was like, okay, listen to me, don't turn your back. Like, I'd probably listen. Like, that's some serious stuff. It's going to get real. Um, apparently, we're really supposed to listen in on this chapter and what's being said. So I'm excited to dive right in. Along with all those other words that are really um, catching our attention, he also says, take my words to heart, follow my commands, and you will live. So when someone says, take my words to heart, they're not saying, do a million other things while you're listening to me, let it go in one ear and out the other, like a lot of us do when we listen to people. Um, we are meant to listen to this word, this scripture, um, the wisdom of God, and we are meant to take it to heart and really remember it, really live it out, not just hear it. And once you are given this wisdom, once you accept it and learn it and you're just indulging in the word, um, really value it. I think um, a lot of times in America, at least we can take um, God and our freedom to worship for granted. There are so many places where people um, are punished for picking up a Bible. They are punished for praying and um, really just just simple talking to God that we don't always do on a daily basis. So I think it's really important that we take all the time we get to um, talk to God, to pray, because there may be a time where this doesn't come as easy. And I just think we really need to value this as something important. Okay, so my two favorite verses from this chapter that are like, whoa, like mind blowing. Um, the first one is Proverbs 4, 16. For evil people can't sleep until they've done their evil deed for the day. They can't rest until they've caused someone to stumble. I know you have all met someone that's like this. They will do anything to make someone mad, ruin their day. They always have to pick at someone. They can't stand it when other people are happy. And it is really hard to be around people like this. It is hard to keep your grace and to keep your um, calm demeanor <laughs> when people are acting like this. Like you wanna give them a piece of your mind, but that's not gonna help at all. And these people, they're really in a period of darkness in their life and they need you to be the light um, to help them through this um, and sometimes there's nothing you can do but pray I know if I'm ever struggling with someone I just um, kind of go to the side or later that day and I pray for God to just help them to guide them towards him and just help them to lift what's going on in their life to not bring others down but this second verse goes right into that um, Proverbs 4 18 the way of the righteousness is like the first gleam of dawn which shines even brighter until the full light of day whoa that I love that verse like can you imagine how bright that gleam is the first gleam of dawn if you guys have ever driven up to the mountains or just anywhere and been awake early enough to see the sunrise it is bright it is glorious it is beautiful it is it's amazing I mean I don't personally think it's that worth it to wake up that early. I'm more of a sunset person, but that's just, that's beside the point. <laughs> you guys are the light in these people's lives. You guys are the light in these people people's lives that are going through um, something that is bringing darkness upon them. You are the light in your work, in your school, everywhere you go because the Holy Spirit is with you. Kind of going into all this is you need to learn to guard your heart. Giving your life over to God and really um, letting him in. He has already died for your sins. He has washed your heart clean. Um, he has washed your heart pure. And he forgives you for anything that you have ever done. And this is really a beautiful thing, but your heart is now pure and it is, 
it's delicate like you gotta protect it you have to um, be diligent in what you are letting in you can't let anything evil in you have to be aware of temptations that are going to um, hurt you there's a really cool quote by pastor David Guzine the Bible warns us to avoid a double heart a hardened heart a proud heart an unbelieving heart a cold heart and an unclean heart your heart can be so many things and a lot of people wear their heart on their sleeve and they just love people so unconditionally and it's amazing but they can get hurt you just have to be careful with um, what you're letting in and what you are seeing what you're exposing yourself to and um, it can take a lot of time and diligence to do that but with God's wisdom comes good judgment so it should be easier for you to discern what is right and wrong but yeah that's a whole bunch of good stuff if you guys want to read that for yourself once again it is chapter 4 of Proverbs and I have a written blog post of this video if you guys would rather read it and going into this week I would just say I pray that you guys can protect your hearts that you can walk forward in a straight path with your eyes forward knowing that God is with you and you are the light wherever you walk and you can shine a light on someone who may be experiencing that darkness right now and um, if you are experiencing that darkness I pray that you will reach out to someone for help and um, if you're afraid to do that then just know that God loves you no matter what and he's just waiting for you to um, open that door and let him in um, yeah but as always I will see all your beautiful faces on Wednesday Bye. hello my beautiful family welcome back I hope you had the greatest Sunday of all Sundays and I'm really happy to share um, Proverbs chapter 4 with you all <laughs> um, I don't know I'm in a really good mood yeah before I get started as always I have announcements for you all and if you don't know this already I am doing a Christmas giveaway and I think there are four or three days left there's not many days left so if you want a chance to win some goodies for Christmas the link will be in the bio my beautiful notification fam <laughs> the notification shout outs go to okay the names I'm sorry if I said your name wrong Brenda Contreras Kumar Dio Narin and Haley Connor thank you guys so much for your comments I love you guys and if anyone else wants a shout out all you have to do is subscribe to join this crazy family and hit that bell so you know exactly when I post. Also, I have a written version of this video in my blog. Go check it out. It's kind of a new thing I've been doing. I think you guys have been liking it, but go check it out if you'd rather read this video or you can watch this and read it. Do both. That'd be fantastic. <laughs>